Hey guys, it's Brian Way again. I am standing here with Jenny Ho. She's the director of Biter Lasers, and she's gonna give us a geek's eye view on the difference in the laser diodes and the difference in functionality between them. Jenny, would you mind explaining what the major differences are between the different diodes? Sure, so with different type of usage, we will use different diode. When with a different diode, it's essentially different wavelength and different power. We have all this laser turned on. We have a red one, rotary one here. Then we have a linear cross line one in green. Then we have a 360 in green. And then we also have a linear one in green, right? So if we put a camera on the other side, well, red one, it's great for indoor. Uh, and it's actually really bright too. So that is because of the power that um, the, the mini watt power that we use with a laser. So 360 is the 360 degree, 360 right? 360 degree. So that will be our BART 3D model. But more interestingly, even with the green one, you have three different colors here. If I don't look at the laser, I can tell you already which one is which. Now through the camera, this one has a bluish tint to it. Ah, it does. The bluish tint to it, I'm going to start being geeky. Um, that's because the wavelength is 515. So 515 has a shorter wavelength. So that's closer to the blue light, right? If you look at the spectrum, it's closer to the blue, blue light. So it looks a little bluish. Um, and the shorter it is, the faster it's catch our human eyes. So that, therefore, it actually would look brighter for us. Not because it's more power, not because it's better dial, it's just really more sensitive to our eyes. So, because mm -hmm. wavelength varies, you know, differently by temperature, sometimes with just our adjustment. So, within 5, 510 to 520, they're about looking like that. So, the gray for linear, because it's really stable, it works with any temperature. Um, traditionally, that's the, the wavelength that people use for, for all kind of green laser. Now, these days, the cone laser is really popular. The cone laser is a bit different from the linear one though. Linear, you're only looking at one dimension, right? So you have this uh, vertical line, horizontal line. With the cone laser, you're really projecting the, the lights and then you, you have the cone to go 360 degrees. In that case, we want to find something that's as round as possible. So if you have a dial that it's run in nature, that's actually going to give you a brighter line and more even line. And so now you see what we pick for our 3D G1 is this color. It's a little yellowish, but then when it's go 360, it's really even, right? So with that effect, it will be very bright and it's really even for, for a 3D green laser. And what is the frequency ah, of that one? So the nickname of this kind of green, it's called the palm laser. The wavelength of this one is 532. 532 nanometers. Nanometers, right, yes. I'm learning a lot here. Yeah. Last one you see, this is a cross line one. From the color, what are you, what are you guessing from here? The color? Yes. Um, it looks lighter, it's a lighter green than, mm -hmm. than this one. It's a lighter green, it's more yellowish, so the right. wavelength is more towards the end, so it's closer to yellow. So it has slightly longer wavelength. However, for this to, to go with a linear, it actually will become quite bright. Not a lot of manufacturer can master this brightness with a pump laser, but well, with Vita, we have it here. So if you compare to the, the semiconductor and the pump laser, they are almost about the same brightness. But so does the, one work better in certain temperatures than other temperatures? Cold, with warm? us, almost no. Almost the same now. Um, it was a challenge before with other manufacturer, but with us these days, it's almost the same. Um, the reason we put this one, this is a new model, which is coming up in March. Um, the reason why we want to use a pump laser, even for the, the linear style, that was because it's matched with a 360. With the 360, we, we find out it's better with a palm green and we match it with a linear palm so that people can use the same receiver to pick up the same oh, I see. From, from one machine. Because, well, I just mentioned different, with different line has different wavelength. So if you're not matching you know, the receiver with the frequency, it's not gonna pick it up. So this 
it's designed for the red one. So I'm gonna show you guys. It's going past the green one, not doing anything. This green one also not doing anything. And then when it gets to the red one, we stop beeping. So that's the case that's when the receiver is really useful because when when it was the sunlight was so bright outside, you can't, you can't see the, the laser anymore. In that case, a detector will be very useful. Right? Makes perfect sense.